and welcome to RC Cincy. Today we have the Axial SCX24. I did kind of clean out some of the roots and weeds. These rocks are extremely large and challenging. We are just going to turn on the vehicle. Of course, this is a modified SCX24. I did the free bumper mod, which created more lift. Of course, we did suspension, steering servo, servo steering rack, wheels, rims, and brass spacers. Um, so other than that, it is factory, which has quite a few upgrades. I just want to see how good they perform. Technically, the suspension is not tuned in. I am just going to grab a seat. Crawl and see how well it does. Now, I did have a hat cam. I just did not do a good job of shooting that way. I'm going to do the tripod. Unfortunately, this controller is almost impossible to do one-handed. So I really want to focus on getting good shots. I may, uh, I don't know. We we'll may move the camera. I don't know. Let's see. We just need to get to here. Get a little angle on there. I mean, you can see what it's crawling. That side doesn't really matter. This side, so that matters. There we go. So we're going to go in entry, and we're going to try to crawl um, all this. Now, these rocks are very large, very hard to crawl, I'm sure. Get your wheel up there. But I have no doubt it's extremely capable. It's insane what this little truck can do now with this. Look at that. Look at that uh, suspension. This is not an easy course. Oh, 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 oh. Where am I going, first of all? Ah, uh, can I get out? All I'm gonna do is scrape and damage the body, right? You can see the servo is strong enough to get it out of hairy situations. So let's call a redo on that one. I just wanna basically crawl this whole area without helping it, which I know it can. You just gotta do the right, choose the right lane. There is no gates or anything, but I want to just master the crawling and I want to see if maybe I need to start adjusting how far. See, that servo will turn itself. Uh, even in that tight situation, it'll turn. So the servo is not the problem. That giant gap right there is the problem. Oh, she's a beast. Oh, yeah. Look at that flex. I think we might have to get a look. Close up, baby. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe a little too close. <laughs> That's going to be tricky. Oh, not that bear. Come on, baby. She'll climb out. She's got power. <laughs> the crazy part about it is the servo will move this truck. Now, one thing I did notice, let's go back to normal range. One thing I did notice though, let's get up on there a little bit. There we go, that's a much better shot. Uh, that it's a beast. I mean, these holes that I fall in or tip, mind you, this is on a hill as well. So this is about as difficult as a course you can make. I have faith that it can get all the way through. So now the bumper clearance is way more like right now the bumper will be catching. That's no longer a problem. That's a free modification I did in a previous video. I, I need to quit doing that. Whenever I get in a situation like that, I quit giving it gas, trying to get it out. I'm just gonna scratch my body. And this is a good looking hard gel. Let's see how capable it is. That's a huge step. I mean, I've been getting it, but... Oh, I'm falling into it the wrong way now. Hold on. Let's see, let's see what I can do over here. That is insane. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is insane. Oh, man, that looks good. Look at that. Look at that. This is where I've been blowing it. Towards it, turn towards it. Yeah, cut away from it slowly. Ah, I had it. I had it. 
Let's see if it can be done from here on out. Let me see if I can conquer it. And of course, I'm going to do the whole thing again because it is that much fun. This crawler course is extremely challenging. It's not for the faint at hearted. Come on, Betsy. Come on. Nice and easy down that one. Turn away. Oh, don't let it fool you thinking you're done there. That's that's a that's a deep that's a crater of death. You just gotta work your way over. Oh, did she get me? No, I'm in a hole of death right there. I don't wanna break anything. Oh yeah. I <laughs> got wedged in there. Oh, did I just break the suspension? So this did happen. Let's turn it this way really quickly. I don't think it broke. I'm hoping it unscrewed. I didn't have it screwed in. No, it broke. Definitely it broke from the thing. The shock broke. Oh no. Oh no. No, the metal came out. Yeah, it's nowhere near as long as it should be. Oh no, it didn't break. It just like undid itself. Look. Like that's supposed to screw in there. So of course, see that? Did I get it loose? Did I not have that tight? Yeah, and look, look how long it is. I don't think, it doesn't look like it broke. It looks like it just untwisted itself from the thing now. Yeah, it did not break at all. Look. Whoops. No break at all. <laughs> Never had that happen before. So I am going to need a tool to undo one of the sides and then just tighten that up. Here is the spring. So interesting. I've never had that happen. Should I check them all now? No, nah, probably not. But uh, yeah, nothing is broke. Um, got up in the rocks right there. Nothing's really scratched or damaged. This thing's a beast at crawling. So what we'll do is we'll pause really quickly. We'll get the Allen key for it and we'll quickly tighten it up and come right back because this is too much fun. Okay, so we are back. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. Uh, I'm going to rebuild all these shocks. Let me tell you why. So this is mine the way a rush job. This is the standard size. This is the new side. And the oil came out. So I had to put my oil in it. Ten times better on recoil bounce. Yes, I know this is adjusted down some. Which I had to because this spring's going to be too soft. But the rebound is so much slower. And I could literally change it. It's got the perfect amount of oil in it. What you want to do is extend it all the way out. But with the right spring... I mean, the rebounds, look how much faster that one drops. Look at this one. It's much more consistent, much better. I try to adjust it to make it behave similarly like the other side. It's not going to. The other side comes down way faster. This one has more smoother compression. The oil's better. It's a thicker oil. I'm going to rebuild all of them because I think all of them are going to come loose eventually at some point or the oil is already coming out. I'm gonna check all the O-rings, make sure there's O-rings in them, and I'm gonna rebuild them all with the same grade oil in them. I just wanna finish this video. This thing is, inc I mean, incredible would be an understatement. These shocks with the right oil and properly rebuilt, like I just did, is a night and day difference. Now, this spring is too light. I'm gonna change the spring out to the silver ones or the other ones. Test them both on one shock and see which one I like the most. And I'm going to go from there. But I will feature that video. But for now, I want to crawl. <laughs> it is a beautiful day. And I want to crawl. So I'm going to drive over there. Thank goodness. Nothing broke. It just came loose. I don't know if I want to do a lot tight. If it's metal to metal, you can. But you got to remember, this is cheap metal. And if it's too tight and you're trying to break it loose, it can break the screw or the bolt or whatever. So I'm just going to tighten it the best I can and check it with time. Bigger rock crawlers have good metal quality parts. Lock tight all day long. 
Uh, I cannot wait to show you guys what I got coming. Uh, it's actually at the Cincinnati post office right now. So it should deliver tomorrow or Tuesday. Probably Tuesday, tomorrow's a holiday. Not sure if they're gonna deliver on a holiday or not because it is the United States Post Service. Delivery service tends to run Sundays and other days. Ooh, I had it there. Ooh, 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 what a save. Oh, ow. Oh. Man, this thing is a beast. Dude, if I redo them with that slower rebound, and redo all the shocks like the one I just did, but with a better spring. Oh my God, this thing is a monster. Even if you leave it all factory and that hadn't come apart, it was killing it. But now it's gonna behave so much better. I wish you could see that other side, the way it's behaving. It's just killing it. I mean, look at that. It's hard to explain the size of these rocks to you guys. Like. These rocks will crush this car. I mean, it is just, mm, and the gaps are insane. See how they immediately just drop in that hole and I can get her across? That oil is perfect. I know it's 50, but it's low C racing, pinkish oil. That oil is nice and thick. It's gonna have less of a time leaking and seeping, especially if you replace the O-rings, which I'm gonna do with all of them. It does come with extra O-rings in the 39 millimeter kit. I don't know about the other ones. I'm gonna check all, oh, <laughs> it was on the edge man it's just a monstrous rock going i want to do all the sides like the way that one's behaving man it's holding true it's a look at that and it gives what it needs to comes right back in a nice smooth continuous like a nice smooth rebound i want them all like now they're great like that i don't have that oil so i can't mimic that and when I put this oil in, it's a lot thicker. They might have less oil or none if they even put O-rings down. I should have rebuilt all of them and checked them all. I don't know why I didn't do that. Well, it was if you were to buy them and install them. <laughs> so I didn't put the spaces, like if you didn't know nothing about it. But I mean, those videos have just... Because, I mean, look at the travel. I mean, it's performing insane. Look at that. I'm just having too much fun, guys. I could be out here for hours. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's, don't be scared of it. Go at it. Or try to climb out of it. Try to climb. Oh. We're on the edge of glory. And I'm hanging on. <clears throat> that was gets me in trouble. Is that wiggling stuff? I got my spinch on this. Let's get out of six and things. Make sure the battery is centered. Let's go ahead and Velcro the body center correctly and press it on there. Get rid of any sticks. Clear a path right here. We're gonna come in from this side, which is even crazier in my opinion. <laughs> look at that clearance on that bumper. That bumper has not hit. And look how steep that rock was. That's a must mod. That has allowed me to go. I don't think it's gonna climb up that. Even with a little bump, maybe? Wanted to? There's like something it can jimmy on. Mm. I got an idea. You gotta work it where you can. Oh, the stupid leaves and stuff. Come on, jimmy on up. J jimmy on up there. Ooh. <laughs> you just gotta find your lane. Stay in your lane. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> I like it to give because I want it to collapse all the way in. This, the back is way too stiff. It's not moving as it should. The shock is almost too. Living on the edge. Eh. Addy hoop. Yeah, Addy hoop. Oh, no. Getting too quirky there. Ah, what does she do out here? 
Do a little rim flex on them. Say what? Anything I'm gonna drop in? Ah, psych! Oh, oh, oh! Come on now! What is she doing out here? Do not tell me. Then went the most aggressive, steepest stones I've ever seen, and is about to do it. Oh, and fell in the pit of death. Can she recover? That servo is strong. That, ser that servo is strong. Ah! Another save. Back. Dang it! I almost had it. <laughs> Guys. Man, the behavior. Take the front of it. Let's push down. Uh-oh. Let's, let's make this a little less stiff. Let's bring this one all the way up. Who cares if the travel rebound is? That's good. Let's go ahead and crank this all the way up. It still just should be just as full as the other one. Let's crank it all the way up. Let her be soft as our other brother over there. There we go. Go ahead and Velcro the body. Now let's see. Oh my god, that movement. I tell you what, guys. I do like it, the back. Like it gives what it needs to, but it's just a little bit too soft. That oil change alone and not turn them out, maybe even leaving these springs might be it. This crawler is a beast. I can only imagine the first gen without the hard bodies. They say they crawl even better. Like, that's insane. <laughs> Not today, son. Not today. Come on, you think this is gonna conquer me like that? Don't think so. Oh, but what the, what the, what the? Look how strong that servo is. It's like, no, not today, son. Not today. <laughs> that front servo will move it in any direction it needs to. That, it's overpowered as heck. I'm just feeling it. And I hate to say it, if I change the fluid, all of them to that, that might be it. Just tighten, flush, run that spring and do it again. Then maybe change the spring, then maybe adjust and calibrate. I don't know. But I don't have a choice. The weights of the oils has to be the same in all the shocks. I want the same amount of oil in all of them. And I want them all tightened up and rebuilt. To check to make sure it leaks, make sure it's holding oil, all that fun jazz, right? It did have oil. It took one apart. It did have oil. I don't know how much it how much it stayed in there. If it got loose and it ran out, that one obviously got loose and it just came out of it. It, had, it was not rebounding. It was not wanting to push back out. The oil itself would not want to push it back out. Like it just stayed closed. You know, I mean, the spring does help. The oil sticker, I get it. The spring wasn't strong enough, but like, I don't know. Oh, look at that. Can we come across there all the way like that down the middle? You gotta be kidding me. Look at the strength of that servo. Come on now. Don't try it. Oh. Come on. That's just brute force right there. <laughs> this is too much fun. Now I know why people buy skid plates for other trucks. Especially with these plastics. I may switch everything to metal. I see why now. Oh, look at that. People want, oh, your suspension is loose all over the place. Well, I want it to, to conform to every rock and just get across it. That's all I care about. That servo can hit it. Can hit that arm. You can actually use that arm. Watch this. The arm hitting that rock and lifting it. So it's not really stopping it. Son, and I got the back wheel set. That's when you just stop. Well, no. That when you get bound up on a rock like that, that's how you break stuff. <laughs> but here's the thing. It's holding up, and a pad at the bottom of it doesn't even look that big. Yeah, I've been crawling that long. When I do crawl, I crawl. I don't. 
I don't really mess around. I'm not here to mess around and tease. I'm here to get her done. Rock crawling is a lot of fun. I see it, especially a course that's that you didn't make and you're gonna go there and just conquer it. That's just the whole thing of it. And it is fun. I get it now. I never understood rock crawling. I would see and I'm like, man, that's boring. It's kind of one of those things like you kind of watch it to an extent so far, but you gotta get into it and do it. This next rig is, well, I don't wanna give it away. But this channel is just gonna hit something crazy. I don't know how good this next product that's gonna be on the channel. As far as 124 scale crawling, uh, I don't have many of them. I didn't have so many small crawls. I had another 124, I wanna say the PRP racing or something. That thing was pretty capable, but it had a sound box. I almost wanna buy it again and compare it against this. I think it was 124 to 128. Reminds me of the same size. I'm gonna have to look at my video and look at the specs and stuff on it. It ran a 2S, square. It had low and high gear. I don't know, it was just a really cool little truck. I might have to revisit that, see how good it does in this track. This track's not forgiving at all for this little guy. Oh, uh, 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 come on. You can do it. You can do it. Do it. Ah, that back wheel got stuck. I know it. <laughs> Man, that servo ain't no joke. I love it. I'm not switching back. I love the weight in the front. There's no way I'm climbing up that. No, <laughs> there's no way. That, that rock is like a good inch and a half high. Like, that's just ridiculous. Uh, as far as lanes go, I'm gonna get pretty crazy. I'm gonna go to the top. I'm just gonna go everywhere. Uh, what I've come to find is, my when it came apart and held the fluid, I'd have been fine leaving the suspension as is, to be 100% honest with you. I like it to move and conform like that. I like that. I don't need a bouncy, springy suspension. I just need travel and it to give and just flow over it. As long as it's not bouncing and rebounding too fast, I can live with it. Like right there, like it's just working. What side is the side with the oil in it? I wanna see how it's behaving compared to the other side. Now I did screw it all the way up. The only difference now is just the oil. The spring is the same, it's just the oil in there. How is it behaving? Like which one is it? Let me see. Oh, dude, that's way better, dude. I'm gonna have to change the oil. It's actually pushing. It's actually got oil in it. It feels like it's how it initially kind of stick until you start moving the body around. That oil is like, I don't know. Not that I don't say it's bad. I don't know if they evenly filled them. Should have checked every. I only checked one. <laughs> it could be the rest of them are dry. And yeah, that servo is no joke. And it does have torque, and it's a single speed. That's all you need for this. What kind of class truck would this be? I wonder. I wonder if I could crawl class two with it. I don't know what the rules and specs are. I think it's class two capable. If I had to guess, uh, with these wheels and this setup the way it is right now, I am gonna change all the oils to the same. So it's gonna run that pink, PMOC stuff. Uh, but there she be. That she be my rig right there. Right there, right there. So I'm gonna conclude with this for you guys. Um, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I'm gonna let go of the servo. I don't wanna hold it in that position. This thing is a hoot. Now, does my light thing work? I don't know why it doesn't work anymore. They're plugged in the correct channels. I plugged it in multiple different ways. At least now, all my lights just stay on. I don't care them turning off and on. But I did not like the fact that you were turning off and on the top ones and leaving the bottom ones on. I switched it, it worked fine. And then, uh, there's a video on it. Watch how it happened, it's the craziest thing. They replaced it with a brand new two-in-one. I have another brand new two-in-one in my package box because they sent another one. So I have everything I need for it. I have tons of parts, screws, tools. I even threw an extra battery in there, an adapter wire that was in a previous video. I threw everything, wheel wrench. That thing has got my little axial box I could literally throw in the transmitter and the remote if I wanted to in there as well in the car and just take that with me and just go crawling and have a hoot. I'm gonna wipe this body off a little bit, clean it a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna take apart every single shock, 
and oil all of them equally just below the thing like I'm gonna pull all the way out I'm gonna fill it equally all of them clean it up tighten it up make sure none of them are leaking and run it exactly this way with this spring that much travel that, that loose I love it this is the way I like it and it tends to perform extremely well what I like a little bit slower rebound to go across deeper holes probably but look at the scale of it look at the size of it look at it's, what it can do for what it is and that's what I'm impressed with at the end of the day it's how you like it it's preference I know that all every guy I talk to this is funny uh, I talked to a buddy of mine he has some really nice rigs and I was driving one I was gonna feature it on the channel it's an older rig I was gonna feature it on the channel I never did should have it was gonna be a comparison against the TRX <coughs> and the only reason I didn't is I was waiting for a 3S battery to come in because I wanted both of them to run 3S because he only runs 3S on his I didn't want to compare my 2S TRX against his 3S and at the end of the day, all he, at the end of the day, when I was getting ready to run on rocks, he's like, oh yeah, I just haven't had a chance to really tune the suspension how I like. Well, yeah, I get that. Now I understand what he meant by that. So it's really just taking it out there, depending on the course and setting it up, what, what it be phased and what it does for you. As far as I'm concerned, um, I'll just be changing the fluid. Could you leave the factory for as long as you kept fluid in there and you liked the way it behaved? I felt like it was a little, like, I had a hard time it would kind of stick and I would compress and it wouldn't really push it back out with this oil it is uh, it's starting to behave great now that it's actually ran in there a little bit uh, you know I'll make sure it's sealed I'll make sure it can rebound if not like I said we can in, I would probably want to change the spring maybe and then just but I still want it to be able to rock and move and behave the way it's doing I know it has a little bit of weight more weight it'll be easier to get that to but it's behaving i wouldn't mind trying like a diff covers and like a skid plate for the bottom middle piece and then the diff covers that'll probably be the last of my mods to be honest with you unless other stuff would be cosmetic or something like that i think it looks great i think it behaves great um some diff covers and a skid plate for the bottom maybe some metal arms all the links make them metal just so they're more durable but they'll scratch them the, the metal for some reason scratches like let me show you this hold on Let's back her on up. Let's show the bottom of this rig real quick. So you can see the rocks have been crawling today. That was not nice. You can see on the mirror, a little bit up there. When you're on a situation, don't be wibbling by, don't be doing the stupid stuff I do. Don't do that, just stop, reset, right? Uh, even look at the behavior on the shock, on the hill. So I'm gonna push it in and let go, push it in. See how this one is like kind of sluggish and wanting to stick? That one is just right. It's coming back up, but it's not springing up and it can still move to where I want it to. And look at that. It pushes the shock all the way out. This one is not. This one needs assistance. Probably doesn't have enough oil in it, but it's behaving. And it'll still crunch all the way if I want it to. You can see that it'll still crunch on a rock. You know what I mean? It'll still claw all the way out. Go on another rock, it'll still go all the way in. Still got that nice movement. It seems like this servo sometimes get hung up on these rails. Like, watch. Sorry. Like, watch this. When this is all twisty and turning like it is, like, boom, 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 boom. What keeps this in a better alignment? See that? See that, like, see the shocks? Do I need to space it out so it gives it more room? Like, kick out the bottom one with the small one so it makes it more square? kicks it out and gives it more i don't know i i'm not too good with geometry of the front end but it's doing it i mean it will kind of correct itself it kind of catches see like right now boom hits that boom hits that door around those think about rounding those top part right here top of the servo like eh, like kind of rounding that just the top part of it so it doesn't catch the frame rail I don't know what is that is that just because the the cons of having a big giant servo up there i love that servo i love the power it has it gets me out of hairy situations it tends to still bend and twist it kind of conforms and bends and twists around it kind of moves with it you know what i mean uh i don't like that did you see that like this wants to like ride right there why doesn't it want to ride right here like, why is it over there? Like, why doesn't it stay right here? Wouldn't that help if it all stayed out? Would it keep it from hitting the frame? Like, there's some things I don't like. Do I put something there? 
washer or like shouldn't that like ride on here like this like shouldn't that be a little bit tighter fit is that damaged one did i not install it correctly the hole is bigger do you put the o-ring the little rubber o-rings in there something i don't know about i'm gonna do my research this one seems to stay no it just still moves as well <laughs> what the heck what the heck will stick? I will use the factory. I wish you could separate the factory things, use the factory bolts and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. There's gripes I have. There's gripes I have. And I'm sure there's a way to address them, and I'm just stupid. I don't know. Like, same thing here. Like, see? Like, look where they're at. They're wanting to go in. Why do you guys want to go in? Why do you guys stay out here? You know what I mean? Like, do you put a rubber thing there and a rubber thing there that's what those o-rings are for and it kind of keeps it centered on either side or something i don't know about <laughs> you know um it looks like those o-rings are for the shocks is what i would imagine right a drag brake's incredible um yeah so i have some gripes is it the end of the world where it, does it kind of find its way back every time yeah typically it does when it's driving it does but like every once in a while it gets itself in a bind it can move into that position but typically it wants to ride right right i don't know who knows but there's stuff i need to work out and figure out myself and kind of re maybe read some manuals you can see where that servo is scraping the servo arm is like scraping the rocks um the clearance is phenomenal you can see the situations i'm getting in and getting out of it did phenomenal tires are even a little dirty it's been rainy kind of muddy well it's drying out now but uh the body is pretty durable like this paint doesn't really scratch it's this black like plastic this is not painted this is molded that color so it's gonna stay and last much longer uh what else this cover thing doesn't look beat up really these links don't really look beat up these do get beat up you see it right there Let's kind of get beat up. That would be awesome to get a metal one. I see why people do that. It plus it would add weight. But I don't want too too much weight either. You can it's possible to have too much weight. To be honest with you, portal axes would be amazing. I don't know if they make portal axles for these. That would be kind of amazing. Um, let's see on the front of that. It's not springing up immediately, but it's definitely holding way better than that one. See that one's almost not. <laughs> The oil, it's too soft. This one's just... I like the way this side is behaving. Okay, yeah, we're definitely switching out the oil to all of them, and then we'll go from there. We'll try the spring and other adjustments. I'll look up some more stuff on a suspension. Maybe I'm just dumb. It's just been a while since I've worked on stuff in a little while. So there you have it. But you guys see what it can do. Let's uh, let's zero in on these rocks here now, boys. I mean, look at that. That's, that's This is an inch. It's two inches. I couldn't get it. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> what is that, you know? I mean, look at that. Look at This is where I usually enter at, right here, because this rounded part. Like, so this course is not amazing. I know. I'm not a course builder. You know, I'm not a fancy guy with the plaster and the wood and build it in a nice indoor course. I would love to have that. I would even almost buy one, but I don't have space for it, honestly. So there you have it, guys. That's my little 124 scale rocker, rocker, uh, rock, uh, rock crawler course. I would love to do gates or something or make it bigger right there. I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, all in all, um, I'm going to change the oil mine just because that happened. I don't want it to be two different oils and behave differently. I like the way that's behaving a lot. Change the oil, all of them, leave the springs, leave them turned all the way up. Leave the springs where they are. Just put the equal amount of oil in all of them and see where she goes from there. Hit this course again. And then maybe we'll do adjustments and other videos and other stuff. Hopefully you enjoy this video. I'm telling you, this little truck is a fun little crawler, especially an indoor track somewhere that's properly made. And you go in there and get these modifications. Just check everything before you put it together. Just make sure everything's tight. Make sure it's got fluid. Then put it all together and put it together properly. Put the spacers where they need to go. Um, you can see I got them up here. So they all hit the frame rail. Probably needs a little one there, maybe. I don't know. It's very tight to that knuckle right there. It's like so close. Look at that. Mm, got a little room, I guess. So, yeah, I love the bumper. That was one of the biggest changes, the bumper. 
Obviously, suspension tires made a big difference. The weight down low, the breath, making it wider made a huge difference too. So yeah, so we'll get all that done. That's gonna do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Any tips or tricks, please leave in the comments below. Just keep it family friendly. Um, you know, kids do love to crawl as well. Uh, I'm just a big, big kid, basically. But yeah, so stay tuned, man. Really big stuff coming to the channel. I cannot wait to share with you guys. Love the way that looks, by the way. Can't wait to share with you guys what I got coming to the channel. It's going to be huge. That thing's going to be insane. So can't wait to share that. Uh, feel free to check out the excavating videos. I will do a full construction site still. There's still tons of other products to do. I still want to have some events and some giveaways and stuff announcing soon. So stay tuned for all that. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.